Kia ora. My name is Cody Kalesi Gukovic. I come from a very small country in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, Aotearoa, or more commonly known as New Zealand. I was brought up in the beautifully pristine far north in a tiny country community of Waiharara, though whose population is just 1500. I come from a very large yet tight-knit family, sharing a neighbourhood with aunties, uncles, cousins and grandparents. During my childhood, my grandmother played a huge role in all of her grandchildren's lives, influencing us all in many aspects of life. I have a fond memory of photographs on Grandma's mantelpiece of other children whom we grew up to know as our overseas cousins. As I got older I discovered our overseas cousins were in fact orphan children from East Timor, who Grandma has sponsored for as long as I can remember. From those early memories I have always had a passion to one day travel to meet these sponsored children. This has always been a dream of my Grandma's which she has never been able to fulfil. My charity work started by organising several fundraising events to raise money for an insulin pump and then organising and selling raffles as well as painting three pieces of art which were auctioned off with all proceeds going to the Miss New Zealand organisation to distribute to the Barani charity. I then embarked on charity work which would become the highlight and the most rewarding part of my life. The opportunity arose to not only go to East Timor and meet one of my grandmother's sponsored children but also my own sponsored child. This opportunity arose when I approached Child Fund New Zealand and they accepted my offer to be involved. I was humbled by this life-changing experience that followed. My time in East Timor was spent mixing with the children and showing them that New Zealand was a caring country as well as meeting my grandmother's and my own sponsored child. New Zealand carries out more hands-on charity work per head of population than any other country in the world. When in East Timor, we met and interacted from the first few hours of arrival, starting with the children on the roadsides. I was sent out to a remote area to meet my sponsored child, six-year-old Flavia, from the village of Suai. This will remain a lifelong memory for me. Grandma's sponsored child travelled six hours on remote roads to meet Flavia and I, so we could all spend time together. This was not only an amazing experience for me, but made my grandma hugely proud and overwhelmed. I met children at the orphanage that evoked many emotions on different levels. One boy with deformed legs but a wonderful voice took a special place in my heart when he sang to me. He became the inspiration for my talent section in Miss World. I read to many, many children and they responded in incredible ways. They caught on so quick and were so grateful for my presence. I distributed balls and balloons which the kids thrived on and certainly felt like I was giving them a lot more than toys. We played games for hours. There was always a thank you or a ceremony when we arrived or left a school, regardless of their meagre circumstances. I went to East Timor to give to the people, but came away feeling as though the people had given to me.